Hey guys, thank you so much for watching Mama Fight Tarot. I am Melissa um, and I am doing an Aries reading today because it's Aries season. We're wrapping it up and I just feel like doing an Aries reading. Um, if you would like a personal, you can check the description box below. Um, MamaFayaTarot.com is actually under construction right now. So I have my Acuity booking site up for booking. <laughs> we ran into some um, issues. I'm trying to create a real client centered business where, you know, and some of the features on the original website didn't exist and I needed them to exist, but I'm not a web designer. <laughs> So I couldn't create them. So I've gotten some help from my friends and um, and some other professionals. And we are going to build a beautiful website that I can't wait to do. And I can't wait to see how it comes out. Um, and I will be launching a, nut, a new mummifyatarot.com um, soon, in the next month or two. So that's the update on that. So you go to my Acuity page from now on um, until I can get the nice side up. It's going to be gorgeous. I cannot wait. Um, so we're just in the development stages right now. Um, all right, my loves, let's get this done. Let's get a love reading for my beautiful Aries. Uh, see what's coming in for you guys. Um, and I will post a uh, extended to this as well. Also tonight starts um, the psychic development class. So I'm really excited about that. It's Thursday night, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. If you can't make that time, I can send you the recording. I got on Zoom with Ribbon and they let me know. Um, I will say Ribbon is excellent with their customer service and stuff like that. That's why I chose them over Patreon and Vimeo. Um, I feel like they, like me, are a more client-centered and even creator-centered site so if you've never been over to ribbon please check it out i have a feeling it's gonna grow and i hope it does um and i'm really excited to be i think their only tarot reader over there or i was i was there first so all right my loves let's do this dear father god mother earth spirit guides angels and ancestors please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering this sacred space so mo it be how about that for timing, my beautiful Aries? Oh, all right. Is there someone we're missing or something we're missing? Um, maybe, but there's something about holding space. I miss my website, <laughs> you know, um, I miss that. I uh, like, you know, but I'm really excited about what's going to be. So just know that if you guys, you know, are feeling something similar and it may have something to do more with a person um, than a thing, <laughs> but if it is a human being, you know, there's a lot of times we got to let those human beings go. Um, you know, and some of my Aries may have been hurt by people recently and they're just feeling really like, oh, like haggard. I know I'm feeling a little haggard lately, so I'm with you guys. I'm with you. If you're feeling a little, if you an Aries and you're feeling kind of haggard, guys, it's okay. We'll get through this. Our season is always a roller coaster, right? Like, so we go from the emotional roller coaster of Pisces season to the like physical roller coaster of, of Aries season. Making plans and focus. Yeah, I'm definitely going to resonate with this side too, guys. So it's all about like, in the, so I, I'm having my own personal Mercury retrograde right now. And I accidentally deleted the live I did, the new moon live, the new moon and Aries live. It was so good. And in one of the, one of the messages was mind your beans. And I'm thinking that like, really take care of the details. We're not the best at that Aries. We're really not. We are like, we like to begin things. We don't like to finish them, but now we do have to finish them. Um, with Taurus season coming up, they're super duper organized. So we should, you know, maybe as we go into Taurus season, you know, getting a little more organized right now and focusing, you know, I know for me, um, creating a legally legitimate business, you're going to start seeing some changes around here, you know, and that's taken a lot of planning. It's taken me away from my channel, you know, and, and, but I will be back posting more, um, 
consistently. Oh, also, if you would like a personal reading, by the way, I'm offering 20% off personal readings. I can't believe I forgot to say that. Um, the discount code for April will be in, um, in the description box and I'll put them in the comments and stuff too. So anyway, <laughs> you're definitely psychic. All right. And a lot of you are the ones who watch tarot on YouTube. Um, you guys usually do tarot yourself, like really focus on your higher gifts too, while you're focusing on, like use your intuition to figure out what to focus on. Ooh, this guy's been coming out a lot. I'm surprised we got this, but shed old skin. So if there's people that are leaving your life right now, Aries, you got to just let them go. Okay, let them go and focus on your intuitive gifts right now, because that's what's going to lead you. Um, it's totally like sometimes we got to make room. That's been a really common theme in my life and it may be in yours as well. Uh, or it's something new that you're embracing. You know, sometimes we do have to make room in our lives for other things um you know a good example for me was like i had to give up the first website i was like it's just not working for me so you know and um but if this is a human being you're dealing with it's much harder than a thing and that's an unfair example but it's the best one i can think of right now because it's what i'm dealing with but definitely aries is letting go of a lot of things even if they put a lot of work into it Right. Like it's a, sometimes like it reminds me of when I was writing my novel and I had to like cut and paste hun literally hundreds of thousands of words out of that thing. It felt like hundreds of thousands. Um, it may have been tens of thousands. It almost, I think it may have reached about a hundred thousand words that I, that I cut out. It really could have, um, it could have been a book by itself. So again, making room, meaning because it, it wasn't cohesive to the storyline anymore. If this person in your life isn't cohesive to your storyline anymore, you got to cut, cut and paste them. Now you can always put them in a document and save them for later, right? But right now, some people need to be, I'm getting it really strongly and I'm only doing Oracle right now. I um, can't believe I haven't even gotten into the Torical. The Torical? See, I told you I'm having my own personal Mercury retrograde right now. Um, the Torical. Dude, should I? Um, ooh, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. All right, anyway. All right, so this person definitely is intuitively gifted too. They have a lot of angels and ancestors around them though. Um, but they got some blockages, man. And we are not responsible for blowing up those blockages. We are not responsible. They are responsible for their own. And, you know, even if you're a healer and whatever, like there's only so much you can do for people. Wow. Yeah. This person is definitely trying to drop their shield. Like, I don't know if Aries got like misjudged or what, but they're slowly coming back around. Um, they, I think they misjudged you and now they regret it a little. I think some of their spirit guides are saying, you know, Hey, what, what were you thinking? Um, they are moving very slowly though, which is not a pace that Aries usually appreciates. Um, but again, you cannot, I, Aries do not focus. See, this is my worry about doing these love readings on the tube okay sorry for my slurpage now i needed to drink some tea um honestly you guys like we focus way too much on what other people are doing 99 percent of the time um i've been doing this long enough and on a broad scale enough to see humans in a different way now and we really spend entirely too much time um focusing on the other person and it's always the titles when i title it about the other person that get higher views and that frustrates me because if we all just focused on our own shit and not what other people were doing we'd be way better off and if we stop trying to control other people and stop trying to Trust me, I have four Aries placements, okay? I'm an Aries sun, Venus, 
Mars and Midhaven. If I'm not an Aries, nobody is. Okay. I have tried to control people my whole fucking life. And it was only once I let go of control of other people, including my own daughter. Like I am struggling to get her to learn tarot. This kid is so gifted. And she's like, oh, absolutely not. You know, all her friends want to learn from me, but she doesn't, right? The healthier thing for me to do is be like, fine. You can step back, you know, maybe she'll want to pick it up from somebody else. Maybe she'll want to pick it up from me. She doesn't fucking want to pick it up from me. But just trust me, like, it's making me grind my teeth a little. Like, I want to teach my very, very, she's my baby. She came from me. She looks like me. She acts like me. Like, this is my little mini me, and I want to make her a little mini me. And I can't make her a little mini me. She's not a mini me. She's a mini her. And like, just like, even if it's a partner, family member, whatever, to try and control what they do or manipulate what they do. And like, you know, I do think that there's an energy between relationships that like when someone is chasing too much, you need to pull back, but that's energy. And that's when you're crowding someone. And that's something I've done to people too. Oh my God, so much. I feel so bad for... <laughs> I feel so bad for who I was before, you know, and it's just like, I try not to do that. But anyway, that's my shit. And that's a little rant on how we need Aries, especially guys, us and Capricorns, we're the worst. <laughs> and I love you, but we really just need to focus on us. And I want my people focusing on us. And I may switch up some of these readings a little more often about and do just pull one one person so that we can do that but they don't get as many views yeah but you're definitely walking away right now at least um you know i it's it, ugh, i'm getting less and less um a fan of words like forever or things like that but at least for now, you need to walk away from this situation. Whatever this is. The Eight of Cups came out first, you guys. That's a big deal. Anyway, this reading is going left. Because <laughs> I'm just yapping. I hope you're enjoying my yapping. But yeah, whatever, whoever this is, you do need to walk away for now. They hurt you. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. You're walking away from pain. From her, from a cheetah, someone, something. Someone that hurt you and caused you depression could be a Pisces. Um, or you're walking away from this depression and you're walking towards a delicious, yummy nostalgia. Either a past life soulmate or a... Oh. Okay. Here's the deal. I think this reading is going to be about new love. This is going to be the new love person. So my Aries who are single and walked away from painful relationships, that's who this reading is for. Um, and you're walking into something really delicious. Um, so yeah, all right. So this has just turned into a singles reading that you're meeting a new love. It's a new love reading. This is awesome. Okay. So you're walking away from heartache, illusion, not knowing what's going on, maybe even from people who, um, maybe friends, family, or romantic partner, past life people. Um, Aries is breaking some karmic chains here. Woo -hoo. Did you see that, that card fly? Wow, these all came out. Whoa, okay. The hermit card. So Aries, you need to hermit out for a little bit. This is the only one that came out upright. I got to take these other reversals. Because people you've been working with or dealing with have been fucking you up. There's been someone blocking your blessings, but no more. You're done. Like you're done letting people block your blessings. And you're walking away from any karmic soulmates or karmic people. This is hard stuff and going for something new. Now, this is for my Aries who are in something brand new. Um, wow, I've never gotten that many reversals 
And the cards have never flown out like that, like in that fashion before. You could be meeting another Aries. Um, whoa. Okay. I think that there's someone watching you, Aries. But they see that you have a, there's a lot of like competition for your affection. And it's making them hold back. Could be a Leo. Um, you may get a lot of attention. And this person's afraid to, this is someone new. And they're afraid. And oh, and a big part of the lesson though, about this new person, is that you can't control them. Like, you do not try and control this person. It's come through in this, this too. So like the reason, like you may have an Aries, I mean, I'm with you here, okay? You may have in the past tried to control people's emotions, like, you know, you tried to control what they were doing. You had unrealistic expectations. You ended up getting hurt. You've walked away from all that. But you've also had to change the way you see things and the way you work in relationship. And you're no longer putting so much stock in what other people do. They're going to do what they're going to do. And I think your nonchalant attitude um, about other people and what they do, it may be kind of keeping this person at bay. Or there's a lot of people vying for you and you feel unaccessible to this person. Um, oftentimes when we've been hurt this bad, this bad, um, we definitely will build a wall up so that no one can come in. Um, and, it, you know, I do think that um, because Aries' personal life is kind of all over the place. A lot of my Aries singles are not making, like not accessible. If you don't have, you don't have to be accessible right now, but realize that the vibes you're putting off are making you not accessible. So just when you want to become accessible again, you may want to switch that energy up, okay? Because we're really good at protecting ourselves and the people we love almost to the point of, and often to the point of pushing people away because we're just trying to protect ourselves, you know, and we're the warriors, you know? So this per wow. Okay, so this person too has been hurt by love. And, but yet they feel this like pull to you with this lovers. And I think they're working out some stuff of their own, maybe some self-esteem stuff, fear of getting hurt. I think they are terrified that you will hurt them because you have a lot of people vying for your attention. And that can make you a little intimidating. And Aries, we tend to be a little intimidating as well. And I'm so sorry, my babies. I love you so much. Please know. Please know I love you. It's not that, you know, I know I can be intimidating. Like I... You know, um, I sometimes blame it on my Sag moon, though. Because <laughs> we really are the sweetest people ever. Aries can, is the most giving. Yes, exactly. <sighs> Didn't, did I just say Sag moon and then the temperance came out? Spirit, I love you. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. Um, and thank you for, for watching over me and watching over my viewers. And especially my Aries collective right now. I, I'm just so happy to see Miss Beautiful Temperance, even though this deck is getting jacked. Um, and it's not because it's a weak deck. It's because I've jacked it. Um, anyway, um, the paper stock is gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, but anyway, 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 Temperance, Temperance, what is it for my Aries? You guys are being divinely guided right now. And anybody who's leaving your life, just know that is divinely guided. And you have a lot of like angels around you that are also protecting you. So maybe you're not quite ready yet for this person to come in. So be patient. I know, the P word. But, you know, temperance is so much more than just patience. It's about balancing the dark and light. Um, Saggy and Libra remind me a lot of each other. It's But Sagittarius... If temperance is the card for Sag, that's the card of balance. You know, justice is beautiful, and I know it's got the balance cards, but temperance is 
trust. Temperance is knowing that you've got solid ground underneath your feet for the feet for for each step you take. Like you're on solid ground, Aries. Even if it does, if even if it feels shaky, even if there's a bit of an earthquake going on, you can still keep walk. Don't kill. Keep walking. That's all I'm saying. Wow, the magician upright. So here we go. Right with temperance energy, you're gonna flip this magician upside down or right side up. Again, don't mind me. Just pretend I'm having a personal Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Just please be patient with me, my Aries. But yeah, you're you're going from manifesting bullshit to manifesting deliciousness. Whoa. There's some kind of like emotional expression. You can't be afraid to be vulnerable with this new person. There's going to be an element of you finally manifesting someone who, I, I think a lot of my areas actually, sorry to cut off and like, I'm totally ADD today, but like, I do think that you're finally manifesting someone who can emotionally um, take care of you. You know, but you have to meet that person with the same energy. You have to be a little vulnerable about your emotions. Sorry, guys. My allergies are bothering me too today, so, or whatever. I don't know. Um, I do feel like, though, that there is a, a level of having to be open. But when you're ready, okay? Wow. You may need to be honest about how hurt you've been, but watch any trauma bonding and watch focusing on that. There's an element of like, you know, you needing to, to feel it in order to process it, right? But you also need to let go, okay? Let it float away when it's no longer serving you anymore. There's, an, there's like a healthy, delicate, tightrope, balance that you have to take when it comes to dealing with grief, pain, betrayal, heartache, hurt. Fucking, it sucks. It sucks. It does suck. Wow. Nothing a little money can solve. No, I'm just kidding. I'm playing Aries. I'm playing. You're better off doing it by yourself. You're better off being on your own right now. You're good. The abundance is going to flow in, especially if you allow it. So it's, it's that allowing energy. Oh my God, I need a massage. Um, I got to go call my girl Danielle and get a massage as soon as possible. I'm just kind of waiting for some stuff to be done. Um, but you are abundant and bad all by yourself, baby girl. Oh boy. So um, stay single for now until you find that right, the right love, that celebratory energy. That real three of cups, not three of cups as in third party bullshit. And you're no longer, if any of my Aries were, um, you know, entertaining th any kind of third party energy, just it's no longer happening. You're not settling for bullshit anymore. And you're heading towards a real, the true meaning of the three of cups, which is celebration, friends, happy times. I like going from the three of swords to the three of cups and I love the number three. So I never just read it as third party. Although what caused this third three of swords easily could have been a third party easy. And, but you may have allowed that in and it's so much about how we see ourselves and how we talk to ourselves, like how we speak to ourselves means everything to me, like, or how I speak to myself at least. And if I'm not speaking, like, if I'm not being kind to myself, like, it got really easy to feel like a complete idiot with this website thing, because I don't know anything about technology, really. And, um, but luckily, I had people who were like, I'm not letting you go there. I'm going to go Melissa on you right now. I heard that. Like, I'm going Melissa on you right now. And I'm like, thank you. Because I forgot who I fucking was for a minute. And we all do. We all do, even the highest of us, I promise. Ooh, seven of cups. This person's really confused over you. They're really confused about you. Uh, they don't know how to approach 
I think Aries, you are a force. We are always a force. Even the quiet, introverted Aries among us, the rare, quiet, introverted Aries, we're still a freaking force. I am not one of those rare, quiet, introverted Aries. I am extroverted to the extreme. Um, almost too extroverted. This person cannot make a decision about you. They cannot decide what to do, what where to go. And I think there's a reason for it. I think that they're getting all jumbled in their head because it's not the right time for you. You are busy getting rid of the shitty people in your life and, and <laughs> or the shitty things in your life or whatever. And you're focused on you. You need to be focused on you, Aries. If this person, yeah, that's, ah, cancer season. June, July or so, this person's coming through. So they're already watching you. And they are going to roll through by cancer season. So, and I think you need three months. I really do. So give it time. You're going to be single for another three months, but give it time. Give it time, my babies. I love you so much. Wow. Seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Many of you are going to meet this person on July 8th. Communication galore. That's, that's when this person finally... Sorry, guys, I just noticed two of cups at the bottom of the deck. That's when this person is finally going to communicate. And but they already got their eye on you. They're just a little intimidated either by you, by the competition, by something. Um, but please don't worry when the timing's right. The timing's right. If the timing's off, even if the person is right, it's not the right person. Patience, my loves. All right, my single Aries will not be single much longer. Okay, three months goes by in a blink of an eye. Even for my 20 year olds, I promise you. And I love you guys so fucking much. All right, I'm taking this over to Ribbon now because this got juicy. I can't wait. What's going on July 8th or July 7th? Between July 7th and July 8th. Woo -hoo. All right, my babies, uh, hit me up over on the ribbon. There you'll be able to either view this um, extended. You'll be able to sign up for tonight's class. All the good goods is over there too. And um, book with me through my acuity. Use April 20 for 20% off in April only. All right. I love you guys so much. Take care, guys.